Hey, hello everybody. Thanks for coming to this week's video blog here at California Realty Training. Listen, so glad you made it. Today we're gonna to discuss a question that we get often on our channel. And the question is, is real estate school difficult? Let's explore that, let's discuss it, let's clear it up for you, let's make sure that you are ready to rock. Stay tuned for this one. All right, now, the million dollar question is, is real estate school difficult? But before I answer that question, I want you to make sure to like this video, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, and last but not least, you know it, hit that bell icon so you're informed of the next video that comes out, you got it? All right, good, let's get straight to it. Is real estate school difficult? Well, listen, anything that's brand new to you is gonna be challenging. Let's go there. I wanna use the word challenging, not difficult. Challenging. Is real estate school challenging? If real estate terminology is brand new to you, if you've never been involved in the real estate field, sure, it's challenging, but challenges are good, all right? Challenges are good. Now, there's ways to get past these obstacles of real estate school, of things that are not familiar to you. Now, before we get to that, let me explain how the process works when it comes to real estate school. Some of you already know this, so it'll be a review, not a big deal. Here we go. You have to pass three college level courses, which California Realty Training offers. It is mandated. You don't have a choice. You have to pass practice. You have to pass the course principles. And the third is an elective, which is nice. You get to actually select something that you are comfortable with. So, Number one, practice. Number two, principles. And the third is elective. The third is an elective. So with those three certificates that you're gonna earn by passing the final for each one of these, one final, two final, three finals, you pass those three finals, you are now eligible for that state exam. Hallelujah, that's the whole goal here is to get to that state exam. Because we're gonna prep you for that state exam. I guarantee we're gonna prep you for that state exam. Now, I want you to think of a baseball diamond, all right? You got first base, second base, third base, home. You all already know that. Now I want you to consider first base as your practice course. I want you to consider second base as your principles course. I want you to consider third base as your elective, and I want you to consider home, which is the fourth base, as a state exam. And the whole idea is to complete each one of these, to, to round the bases and get back home, to score, to make it happen, for you to succeed, to get to that state exam and earn that dog on that license and get straight to work and make some money, start off your new career. Now that in a nutshell is how the program works. That in a nutshell is how it works. Now of course, what I want you to do is this. I want you to have a few techniques that we're going to be offering you. Now these techniques, these study materials, let's put it, let's, these study materials are going to assist you when it comes to studying for each one of these. Because when it comes to practice, when it comes to principles, and when it comes to your elective, a lot of these terms are gonna be brand new to you. You are going to be so unfamiliar with these terms, you're gonna say, what the hell did I get myself into? Why am I doing this to myself? You're gonna say, I've never heard of this term. What are they talking about? And a lot of these textbooks, are extremely, extremely heavy, meaning they're thick. There's a lot of information on there. But what I want you to understand is this, although it may be challenging, again, let me remind you, these are college level courses. There is a lot of help there for you. There's a couple of techniques I want you to use. For example, when it comes to the textbook, here it comes, when it comes to the textbook, I want you to utilize it like crazy. Now, why do I want you to utilize that textbook like crazy? Why do I want you to be comfortable with that textbook? Well, because when it comes to your final for each one of these, when it comes to your final for each one of these courses, for your practice principles and elective, that final, that final exam is open book, man. That final exam is open book, which means you are allowed. Hell, I encourage you to utilize that textbook because that textbook is going to allow you to look for the answer, to search for the answer. Now when these terms are difficult and you're like, I don't know what this means, all you have to do is go to the, to the back of the book. Okay, so if it's not in the glossary, I want you to go ahead and use the index. Now the index is going to tell you where that term can be found, what page it can be found. Let's assume the term is escrow, and you're like, I don't know what escrow is. You go to the back of the book, 
search it under the index. It's gonna tell you it's on page 454. You go to page 454 and all that content there should be of escrow. So there's ways to utilize that textbook to your advantage and better understand the material. You with me? So there's a couple of techniques I want you to use. That being one of them, of course, I would, I would love for you to also review the content in the textbook itself. When you're gonna go through a chapter, review the information in the chapter. Then take your quiz because each chapter does have a quiz and all that good stuff. My bottom line is this, it is challenging, but it's completely manageable. You could do this. Now the secret is this, we're gonna provide you with the techniques, we're gonna provide you with the tools, not just to pass your three finals, we're going to provide you tools to pass a state exam, such as, such as a state exam prep program, which is fantastic. We're gonna provide you and offer you a weekend crash course to prepare for that state exam. So you're covered there. We have all the tools that you can utilize to be successful in earning those three certificates, which of course qualify you for the state exam. The real challenge is what's down deep in you. How bad do you want this? So when the question is, is real estate school difficult? That's a loaded question. Because the hardest part, the most difficult and challenging portion of that real estate school program is you. Is you being able to focus. You having the right attitude and you having the discipline. Because what I would want you to do is this. Number one, focus. Focus. Now I want you to focus on first base and stick with first base, meaning practice. And all I want you to do is eat, smell, touch, practice. You got to get to first base. Now once you pass that practice exam, you can let it go and you can shoot on over to second base. In that second base, you're going to have principles. And I want you to focus solely on principles. Study. Utilize like we discussed the index. Utilize the glossary, utilize the textbook. Be comfortable with the material in the textbook. Take the, the final for principles and move on to third base and focus solely on third base, which is your elective. And again, utilize that index. Utilize that glossary. Utilize your textbook. Take the final for your elective and then get ready to go home. Because at home, you're gonna be waiting, they're gonna be waiting for you. The state exams to say, here we are, come on in. And we're gonna give you the material to pass that state exam, that state exam prep program, the crash course. We're gonna prepare you for that state exam. But the secret here is, is to focus, to focus on one individual course at a time. One, two, three, and then go home to that state exam. You see, when you think of it as a whole, as a whole project, it sounds difficult. It sounds challenging. Hell, it sounds scary, God damn it. It sounds like, oh my God, I don't know if I could do this. That's a lot of stuff. Three certificates, state exam, oh, forget it. It's just too much. When in reality, if you step back, take a deep breath, man, and focus. One, get it out of the way. Two, get it out of the way. Three, Get it out of the way. Got my three certificates. I'm going to the state exam. We'll help you with that one. Focus, focus, focus. Then comes your attitude. Your attitude will make or break you, man. Your attitude. You have to be determined and say, I am not going to stop this race until I am done. You have to be determined, damn it. You have to say, I started this. I'm going to finish it. Again, we've shared some techniques with you. All you have to do is follow through. All you have to do is follow through. You see, when you get your real estate license, it's gonna be all about you. Your success is gonna depend all on you. It's gonna be all about your attitude. If you feel defeated, you will be defeated. If you feel like a winner, chances are you are gonna win. It's your attitude. And last but not least, your discipline. You have to be disciplined when it comes to your real estate schooling. 
You have to say, I'm going to study. I'm going to review the materials. I'm going to utilize that glossary. I'm going to utilize that, you know, that, that index. I'm going to utilize the California Realty Training YouTube channel, which explains a variety of topics, a variety of terms that will assist you in better understanding the real estate world. Utilize everything that the California Realty Training Program has to offer you. Make it happen. So I want you to focus. I want you to have the right attitude and I want you to have that discipline. So let's go back to the question. Is it difficult? Is it challenging? Is real estate school hard? What a simple question. And the answer is only if you allow it to be. The tools are there for you to utilize. We're going to give it to you on a platter, man. But giving somebody the tools means nothing. If your mind, heart and soul aren't into it. You got to go all out. And as we've discussed before in the previous vlog, you can't half ass it. You got to go all in because once you're holding that real estate license, hallelujah, you're going to be so proud of yourself and I'm going to be proud of you for doing it. You did it, man. Now it's time to go conquer that real estate world. Now it's time to go conquer that real estate world. You deserve it. Hope this helps you out. Is it hard? Nah, it's not rocket science, but it's not a, walk in the park either. It all comes down to you. Hope this helps you out. Listen, glad you made it. We hope to see you next week. But before I go, do me a favor, huh? Like this video, subscribe to the channel. And last but not least, bing, hit that bell icon. We'll see you next week. Take care. Hey, thanks for watching this last video. Hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Hey, do us a favor. If you think a family member or a friend would also enjoy it, why don't you share it with them? I guarantee it they're going to get something out of it. In addition, if you have any comments, questions, or a topic you want us to discuss, hey, leave it down in the comments section. And one last thing, if you haven't subscribed yet, what the hell are you waiting for? Do it right now. Hope to see you next week.